All right, been waiting for this one for a while. Manual. Got these to run the lights. There's our antenna, pairing button, and these run the power from the house. Let's go get it plugged in. It's a heck of a lot smaller than the old one. So I've got a two in one switch connected here. Uh, the most important thing is that we're not using the load like you would in a traditional light switch setup. Um, both of the wires here are connected to bypass the switch. Um, and that's because the two-in-one isn't rated to handle variable loads like a combination of fan and lighting at the same time. All that said, make sure you check the dot wiring diagrams on Annabelle's website to make sure you're wiring correctly for your house and situation. So here's my existing wiring up in the canopy. Uh, do a little spin around here for the wireless dongle that's up there. And we're going to take it out and through the magic of editing, we've now got the blue unit installed. So just make sure the antenna isn't bundled up in there so that you improve the signal strength as best as we can. So first things first, we're going to get these paired up. Uh, I've sped things up here so that we don't have to wait that long. In real time, this took about 45 seconds. And these automatically showed up for pairing because I had flipped the power back on in there new. And this is going in the nursery, so I think it looks like a little secret. So if we hop over to the device for the ceiling, uh, you're gonna see that there's a fan and two light switches here. The second light's actually a way to control the fan in case you're binding the fan speed to a switch that's designed for lighting. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is go in and label this as a virtual switch or a virtual fan so that it's not confusing as we're working on things. And since I don't need to access this from anywhere in the interface or from any special controls, um, we're gonna turn off visibility as well. Just to demo that we've got controls here, we can toggle the light manually. Of the fan uh, we can adjust levels on the back end for home assistant um, this is actually just changing the percentages uh, that's going to be important when we set up the control of the toggle switch uh, or the config button on the wall switch uh, in order to adjust the different uh, fan levels so that we can control it from the wall So as it stands right now, you'll notice that when I hit the on here, um, it's slow to come on. And then when we turn it off, it's slow to come off. Uh, that's because we are in dimmer mode by default out of the box. And we're going to turn that off. So right now, the option to be able to adjust the dimmer mode to on off mode isn't surfaced and has to be manually set. To find that, we'll come in here and pick the correct light cluster. Uh, and then we're going to set the output mode. The read attribute here. Right now, it's set to false, which leaves it in dimmer mode. And we're going to change this to true and write that over to the device. Now we're going to go in and set up the switch for binding control. First part of that process is that we need to create a group for binding. Now if we don't do this, the switch is going to try and control the fan at the light all at the same time. So we're going to hop in here and create a new group. We'll head down here to nursery ceiling and we're going to pick the first group, which is what is controlling. Light. 
I'm just going to change the group name over here just so that I'm not getting confused between what's a group and what's a light. Hurt that. And now I'm going to hop back over to the wall switch. It's an old Z wave switch there. Here, manage the Zigbee device and go to bindings tab. And you should be able to pick that new light group. And we want to do level control and on off for binding. Um, if you chose to leave the light in a dimmer mode, then this would allow you to control the levels of the light directly from the switch once it's bound. And just like that, we are bound. So, with those changes made, now single tap up on. Here, instantly turns on the light and turns it off. Now we'll set things up so that the configuration button can control the fan speed um, and turn it on and off. I've played around with a couple different ways to do this, but the most effective way seemed to be doing this. Uh, first, I need to come and create a template sensor that's reading the nursery fan speed. If I don't do that, um, the automation was not running correctly. It could just be me being <laughs> Uh, inexperienced with Home Assistant code in there, but uh, that's the first step. And we're going to reference back to that as we set up the automation. We'll come in here and trigger off of my wall switch. And we want to look for that config press. And when that config gets pressed, we're going to do a conditional statement and check against the entity that we just created to see if the what the current fan speed is. So in this case, if the speed is zero, then we want to set the fan. And we're going to turn it on. Uh, we'll pick that nursery ceiling fan. And then we want to set a particular percentage to jump up to 33%. 33% is considered to be low by Home Assistant. 66% uh, is medium and 100% is high. And we'll set this so that if it sees any of those levels, it's going to move up to the next one. And if it sees 100%, it'll move back down to being turned off. Innovelli is supposed to be coming out with a new firmware for the two-in-one switches that should make this automatically happen with bindings to the config button. But for now, this is my workaround. And here's the YAML in case you want to try and duplicate. So with that automation in place, uh, right now the fan's off. We give a single click to the config button. That moves us into low speed. Give it another click into medium and another click into high. And while it's in high, if we give it a click, we can come back to off. Like that, we're all set up.